And how did you, oh yes, where was this underneath the lumbar spine? I liked this one at the feet. Oh, so okay. we can use the swing instead. Yeah, let's use the swing you instead of the glute. You can just unhook glue. one level, one side of that. No, we're gonna use the swing oh, instead of the leg loop. Oh, okay. Loop. Yeah, because it's bigger. We're okay. just gonna let that one go. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, that feels much better. Actually. Okay. So a little instruction here. Yeah. Since this is our first time doing X Factor, bring your feet down for a second. Okay. To you. Bend your knees. This doesn't go on the C7 joint. What you want to do is bring it, bring down, it down and spread it out. Can you guys see that? So this is so much better because it's gonna oh hit. It feels so much the, better top of the trap muscle and work with the intersection here but free up the c7 joint okay now lean back that's it and you can always pull these apart to place it but that was the perfect movement and then yellow swing at the feet first um arches of the feet oh, arch the bottoms of the feet in yeah bunch it up spread it out and yeah okay that's good. yeah or, that's or bunch good. it up cool and then just lean back lean back all the way you can let your heart <sighs> arms go overhead mm -hmm. That's it. Mm. Awesome. Already I'm getting a stretch in, you know, my upper. Mm -hmm. So um, I call it the shoulder squeeze. Oh, yeah. Because you get to actually use the fabric. So already I'm getting a release. It's going to bring yeah. out those muscles that have been completely stuck. So they become like dry sponges where they're not able to absorb and get that kind of uh, supple mm. fluidity that the muscles are like sponges where they need to actually absorb and contract and then release, and then they can get more blood and oxygen flow. Go ahead and pull these apart a little bit here. Mm -hmm. There, there you go. And then use your chillaxin arms for a second. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Cool. So arch even more. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then I'm just gonna do this little rhythm wave mm. with the body. And I'm just going to listen and only go as far as it feels good for today. But each time I do this, I might actually go a little further. You know, but right now we're just wanting to get that experience of feeling what it's like to open up the heart. Is that okay pulling even more? I don't think you need to pull any more. I'm yeah. feeling such a stretch. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> like it. I just feel it. Deep. Yeah. Beautiful. And then I want you to go ahead and support your head with your hands yourself, but see what it's like to rock your gaze from side to side. Okay. Just the gaze or shall I move? Too? Your whole head. Like oh. look over one shoulder and then the other shoulder. Oh. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let me know if that's enough. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah. And then we're going to go the other way. And we're just going to feel that. What happens? Oh yeah, look at that big arch that happened. I could go a little further. Yeah. So my body is beginning to open now. Yeah. It's going, okay, I see what you're doing. Oh uh, yeah, because it's first like, what are you first doing? it's like, is this is such an you. unusual movement, mm -hmm. right? It's like, it's processing going, what are you doing? And then mm -hmm. all of a sudden it goes, oh, okay, we're going mm -hmm. there. No. I can do that. Isn't it amazing how the body, mm -hmm. you know, will respond? It it's takes so a minute. <laughs> I want you to try. Just keep going where you're going. But this is going to bunch up behind the knees now. Okay. So again, get your feet through. Yeah. And feel how different that oh is. Oh, my God. I actually like yeah. that better. Yeah. Because. That's more supportive. I'm, I'm, the soft knees mm -hmm. gives me a little more leverage mm -hmm. than the straight legs. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, that feels so good, Jen. Mm -hmm. Really good. I can go even a little further. Mm -hmm. So yeah, body is going. I like this now. Yeah. It's a nutrient. I uh, want more. I want more. <laughs> <laughs> so first it goes. Oh, yeah. I haven't had this nutrient. I have yeah. to taste it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I taste it, and oh, I want more. Yeah, delicious, right? Mm -hmm. So all I'm doing is press, pressing one hand on the hip, a little bit lower than the joint. And then the other hand, I come up to the tricep. Oh, oh, that feels really good. And that feels good for me when it feels good in her body. Yeah, you feel the same way. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> it's nourishment for me, too, because, they're you know, again, it's also like moving with her and letting my body also be getting the nourishment from the movement. So and now it's wanting to just oscillate. Wiggle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I do a little yeah. wiggle with the legs, Absolutely. too? Yes. And this, again, 
again, it's just this oh, feeling. Oh, wow. Even just this yeah. is so good. This. Yeah, I like it with the tea machine. <laughs> Everybody well, just it's loves the tea machine, Jen. It's, it really it's where it's situated, right mm. on my shoulders. That's that right. Is giving me almost like an acupuncture mm. treatment, mm -hmm. right on those kind of like trigger points. Beautiful. Like that's what I love about this system. Mm. It's like it can hit. It can sort of like act as acupressure. Mm. And tensegrity and fluids and spiral dynamics, and now she's at my heart. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, and that feels so good. So she's really arching beautifully here, so it doesn't take much, but the lift through the sternum, as well as the pressure behind the upper thoracic thoracics, just gain that millimeter of space that I was talking about in the last video that makes all the difference in the world. And then, of course, the communication, right? My heart to her heart to the hands of support. And, you know, the heart is an organ of fluids. It's where the <laughs> blood flow and it's mm -hmm. the home of the blood flow. Mm -hmm. It's a chain of pumping. Yeah. So right away, when you put your hand there on my heart, I automatically felt the warmth you know, mm -hmm. go right through my body. That's right. And I know we could be here forever because we're having so much fun, but I really want her to bring the swing up to the hips now because I'm okay. getting eager to do Love Bug. And I love calling it Love Bug. It's like, you know, I make up all the names to be funny and silly so we can have a good yeah, time with that. Long pants. These are, but they're cute. <laughs> <laughs> they're cute, These but the it's okay. Pants, they're getting tangled. Okay. <laughs> we'll work with it. We'll work with it. <laughs> the outfit. So now the yellow swing is going to be around the waist. This one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, we can have both heel if we want it, but we're just going to use that for the neck in a minute. So get it, and then wrap your legs around. So push the yellow swing away, and then get the legs around. Okay. Yeah. I see what you're doing. Outside in. Outside. Mm -hmm. We're coming into our inversion. Yeah. Okay. And that then, just feels great. And then we're going to do this, because this is going to support your head for you. Like you I hope suggested. this looks okay on the camera. You <laughs> look amazing. <laughs> I'll tell, no, I can tell like you. Oh, no. You're perfect. This is what the kids go for these days. So feet together, knees open. Yeah, that's love bug. Oh my god. So it feels already so good. <laughs> you know, it's like, like what are they door. doing now? <laughs> so already she's curled up into this cute little ball. Oh, I love it. It's, it's so, so great. Good. Can you do chillaxin arms again? Sure. Yeah, you can hold on. But chillaxin arms gives like I call it the the um the double butterfly right so you have the butterfly legs and the butterfly arms you know the double diamond and now what you're going to do is you're going to arch you're going to lean back and arch push your hips hips forward yeah so you can oh even God, float a little so bit good. and i want to come mm -hmm. off the table i'm telling you that's another pose that we're not there yet. Oh, okay yeah, i know i know you do it does that's what i was playing with and i was imagining even before getting here like Okay, I want to do X Factor, but I want to hang off the table, and I was just feeling it so much in my body. And then Barbara was like, oh, yeah, it would be really great if we do upper body today. And I was like, fantastic. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Okay. This is so fun. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and do a few undulations like that. And I love this idea of coming in and just being a little bit of a support for the hips because I like, you know, really getting in there. And so she's going to roll up and down and I can do a little lift here. That's oh, it. No, that feels so good. Yeah. And she can just slide up and down my legs. There you go. And lift. And this is great for people who like have really tight hips because my knees are kind of doing a little bit of body work there. Oh, yeah, and then it gives her upper body this freedom to move. Is and that... now it wants to move like this. I know. Funny? <laughs> I'm telling you, the wiggle. It's the amazing wiggle. You have wiggle. no idea how good this feels, y'all. <laughs> They'll know, though. They'll know. So <laughs> my feet can even do this little movement behind your heart. Just a little lift. Yeah, good. And then I'm going to let her roll down into the ball. And even the ball mm -hmm. feels really good. The best. And I'm going to switch to just supporting her with my outer legs. This is just such mm -hmm. a nice way to really help to comfort and soothe mm -hmm. the body, soothe the nervous system. And then I'm just going to slowly unfurl. And I think yeah. after an opening in the heart mm -hmm. like that, it's so nice to come back into this it really is. restorative ball. Because like, I, I felt like really... 
an expansion <sighs> in my heart, and now this is kind of like a more grounding yes. of that expansion. So what I would love is for the swing to spread out now and for her to experience that. Okay. Yes. So spread it out over the lower body completely. Yeah. Keep it at the hips. So, yeah. And then all the way down to the legs. Beautiful. And then let, so we're going to remove this for a second. Go ahead and let the purple leg loops gather around your waist as well. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See how and then easy this is? This, yeah. And then this can still support. Oh, oh my God. That was the one where I was like, <laughs> what? Yeah. So good. Oh, we're gonna pause this and do one more video since we're running out of space on my computer. We'll be right back. Okay, so before we lose that video, <laughs> I'm just pausing it, but we have the other one going here too, and I'll create a second one. Because what's gonna happen? Do, can we turn on the lights in here? Yes, please. Right, right there, sweetie. Um, by the door. Yeah. By the picture. Mm -hmm. And it's a dimmer, so you can oh, make it. No, I like that. That's great. Okay. All right, let's try it this way. Maybe one more. Oh my God, that was so fantastic. Mm -hmm. It felt so good. And we're going to keep going with it and see how long my computer lets me record. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to continue on with Barbara. <laughs> in the swing on the table doing some suspended somatics therapy with me. So we're actually demonstrating um, the, the larger swing, the yellow one. We have the leg loops of a purple one supporting her heart. And then one of the leg loops of the yellow supporting her head and neck. And when she's in this position, I can help her open up by doing some gentle but deep Tractioning of the neck. I'm just going to pull here and let that happen. It just is so sweet to give just a little bit of space. I can also do the movements that we can't really do on the table that we can do in the swing is we can do a little bit more of the spirals and the spins from side to side and let that feel good. And her body's just moving with me. It can be passive or interactive. That's welcome. The suspension is almost like an added freedom for that rolling to kind of just mm -hmm. automatically unfold. Oh, there and it go. just feels like bunching up would be the next logical step. Right. Yeah. You want to get your hair out from yeah. there? We all have this amazing hair, but we want to get that out. And then I love this big stretch here, because this is like the stretch I feel like all my clients are looking for when they come in. Yeah, like that. Well, we're looking at screens. Mm -hmm. and so our necks and heads are really mm -hmm. stabilized in these awkward positions all day long. Mm -hmm. So to release that feels so good. Yeah, and so play with that for a couple of rounds. See how that feels to play with that. Just roll the head around. Mm -hmm. Very good. And we're just going to let her explore for a little while and see how that feels. So now my body wanted to do a little continuum. Nice. Uh, feeling like I'm oh, supported mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. these fluid forces that are so hard to get mm -hmm. in sort of standing motion. So this fluidity to me is so restorative. And the body really loves it. As you said, Jen, you get that, you know, that hydration my body and my muscles are feeling a little more hydrated, especially my neck area. It's a, it's a little tight. Well, there's something so magical about the squeeze on the surface of the skin. So a lot of the fluids are actually held in the fascia and the lymph. And so when we're wringing those out by the compression and the pressure, and then the expansion as we release and then revisit 
some of these poses. It's incredible what it does for the circulatory system, all of the fluidity that comes through the lamp, the I endocrine. I'm pressing with my hands and my feet against the fabric. Like that feels this, this, this kind of like, I call it tensegrity. Mm -hmm. Dynamic is, tension is another name so, I like, like to call it. How do you get this in mm -hmm. another way? And of course you can do this on the floor, but it just adds another element of comfort and support to be kind of elevated on the table. And it also allows us to incorporate so some touch. Now. Yeah. I'm just kind of letting my body do what it wants to do, mm -hmm. giving it permission and freedom. Yeah, and I could come in with a client at any time and offer some body work, some active release, some touch, some support, some offer suggestions, quantum play, some partner play. Really good. But if a client feels comfortable, they will, you know, they will just start to play with it. I had a client today and that's what she did. She just started, I said, gave her permission to just go with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, you know, you, you always make sure they don't fall off the table. But with it's, guidance. It's, mm -hmm. it's almost like letting a child, you know, find mm -hmm. the, the monkey bars or <laughs> just have permission to just play. Mm -hmm. But look at this. I mean, how could I get this kind of movement? Mm-hmm.